Hi guys, welcome back to Fishing in the UK. Today we're fishing back at the River Tyne. We're fishing a mark known as Gerald Park um, slash the pedestrian tunnel. We haven't fished here before um, this year, so hopefully we're going to pick a fish or two up. So this is what Anne's just caught. You can tell it's a flounder because it's got rough skin and you can see it's lateral line there is quite rough. Um, on this side it's got quite a nice pattern. We'll get him to chuck it back. Hopefully we'll catch some water today. Three, two, one. <laughs> so guys, this is the first weed of the day. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is what happens when you fish the river. Sometimes when it's in flood, a lot of crap gets washed down um, and it acts as though you've got a bite, but you haven't. Any problem with these guys? Look at that. Oh, it's alright, it's just. Uh, yeah. There you go, it just pops out of its mouth. Tell it's a codling because it's got a little beard thing on it there. That um, I've got little teeth. Like I say, get this one chucked back, hopefully, catch another one. A what? Right, right guys, so this is the bait we're using today and um, we've brought some black lug. This was frozen but uh, we've defrosted it for the day. We've also got some frozen mackerel fillets from the shop. Um, we've also brought some fresh ragworm we've put today in the vermiculite there. Um, as you can see it's barely just alive. And we also have some squid, some frozen squid. These ones are quite big. So pretty much all we do with these is just cut them into strips, tip them off, tip the end of the hooks off with the bait. And that's all the bait we've got with with it here. I'm gonna try a little bit of mackerel, see what we can do with that.
as you've just seen there, what I've done is I've cast a little bit down the river. Um, what I'm trying to do is fan cast, so to cover as much water as I can. Hopefully, I'll pick a fish up down there. As you can see now, it's uh, nearly low tide. We've got to be careful when we're bringing our rods in, just to get over these rocks here. Um, so I think it's, the tide's going to start coming in shortly, so we're going to fish the rest of the tide up. Be a canny one. Oh, shit, and am playing for. Watch out. <laughs> So they are getting a little bit bigger, hopefully we'll get some more, get a bigger one. Are you sure this time yours? I don't know. There's a nice flat, another flat fish. Get it back, hopefully get some more. Just over 35 centimetres. So what we're going to do is we're going to chuck this back, hopefully catch another one. Shit, that's an alright size on there. And to get ready to handball it if I can't lift it. Shit, that's uh, quite heavy that. So it looks like the cut are starting to bite finally. It's cod number three. Oh, swallow that down there. I've got it. <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> I can't believe I've lost my belt. I can't believe you lost another fish. There we go, here's another one. Quick picture out on my box. Right guys, so this is the cod here. As you can see, I've got it marked on my box, 35 centimetres. So from here to here, it's 35 centimetres. So that would be your keeper. But... I'm not going to keep this one, I'm going to quickly chuck it back. As I've just showed you on the box here, just over 35 centimetres, so they seem to be getting a little bit bigger, but hopefully we'll get a, a bigger one than this and I can take it home and cook it for me tea. So we'll chuck this one back, get baited up, hopefully get another one. Do you want a hand? They're released. We've been here most of the day now, the tide's on its way in. And we're going to give it a, a few more hours fish to tide in a little bit more hopefully we'll catch a few more fish before it gets dark and then we're going to shoot off and call it a day Oh, 
that's how you beat that up. So, this is my fourth one. Um, I think this one might be a keeper. I think we might take this one home and have it for the table. Right guys, so since I'm keeping this one for the table, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut it here, chuck the cuts away, and then I'll prepare the rest of it when I get home. So to cut it, what I'm gonna do is just go in through the anal vent, straight up with its chin, Oh, it's got something massive in its stomach. Just there, like that. And I'm gonna pull all these out. Oh, that's got... It's got little crabs in it. Right, so like I say, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm just gonna discard all that. Should have kept them. A few of us. No, no, little hard bucks. It's a bit luminous green. Just watch in case you drop it. Got more. Tell There's another one. Tell me it had loads in its belly. You could feel them. It's hard to pull that bit off. It's got the knife there. Oh, sorry, I've got it. So like I say, we just pulled its guts out and that's now prepared ready for when I get home. Man. There we go, there's another species for the day. Trifecta of the winter species. Nice little whiten. Gonna release it, let it live for another day. Well guys, I think that's all we've got time for. Um, it's been quite an interesting day today. I've had four codlin, um, and had two flounders and a whiten. We've used a variety of frozen baits, but the tide's on its way in now, and we're gonna start losing the light. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a couple of more casts till it gets dark, then we're gonna head off home. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon.